a few times a year, I'll walk into my bathroom and start to notice things that just don't belong anymore. And that reminded me, we haven't done a 10 things to toss video in a while. So to help myself, but more importantly, to help you guys, this week we're doing 10 things to toss bathroom edition. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you have at least one thing you can toss from your bathroom. Sometimes I will see the latest and greatest hair care product video or ad and I run out and I buy it. And then what ends up happening is I tried in my hair and it doesn't work. We've all been there, haven't we? But then what I do is I kind of stow that stuff away under my bathroom sink and I think, well maybe next season it'll work for me or maybe I'll try it in a couple of weeks again or whatever lie I tell myself. Anyway, what you need to do is go into that area where you corral all of those lost, forgotten hair products, go through them, figure out what's still good, what can you give away to someone, whether it's a friend, family member, or even donate to a shelter, and what do you actually need to get rid of. That is gonna free up so much bathroom real estate, and you just use the stuff on your hair that really works. Next stop is the medicine cabinet. You know, you buy something because you have a cold or a headache and then thank God it goes away and you don't have to use that stuff again. And then the next thing you know, you find the bottle when you need it the most and that product is expired. So go through your medicine cabinet, look at all the expiration dates and anything that is expired, put into a zipper lock bag and take it to your pharmacy. They have safe ways to dispose of it. Dumping it down the toilet or throwing it in the garbage is not the right thing to do. But regardless, you still have to go through that medicine cabinet and get rid of anything that's expired. Makeup and nail polish and cosmetics in general can take up quite a bit of space in the bathroom. And similar to clothing, we tend to wear 20% of our makeup 80% of the time. What I did a while back is I went through all of my makeup and really had a good honest look at it and thought, when was the last time I used that particular eyeshadow palette? And if it wasn't in the last few weeks, then I just put it in a pile and I gave some of it to my nieces and some of it to my sister. And they loved it. It was great for them and it was great for me because I got to declutter a lot of the stuff that I wasn't using. So if you find that you've just acquired a lot of makeup, whether it was a really fun palette that you really liked a long time ago or something that you got for free when you spent a certain amount of money and you just don't use it all that much, now's the time where you can sort through all of those cosmetic items and give them a new home. There's always that kind, thoughtful, well-meaning, generous person who gets you a gift set filled with bathroom swag that you're never going to use. Whether it's bath products and you don't take baths, or if it's fancy, funky shaving products, this is a man's thing by the way, not pour moi, but if you get something like this and you're never gonna use it, just don't keep it. Give it to someone who you know will enjoy it. There's no shame in regifting. And by the way, for people who actually enjoy taking baths, bath stuff is awesome for them. But for someone who takes a shower, it's like, what am I doing with this? So do yourself a favor, go through, get rid of all those weird bath products that you don't use or any gifts that you just kind of feel bad about. Now's the time where you can say farewell. Now this isn't so much a decluttering thing as it is just a friendly reminder to replace something thing, and that is your toothbrush. It should be replaced every three months. And guess what? Old grungy toothbrushes make perfect cleaning toothbrushes. So give it a really good rinse. You can soak it in vinegar for 30 minutes if you like. Give it a rinse, let it dry, and now voila, it's your cleaning toothbrush. And then you can grab yourself a brand new one and do it all over again three months from now. Okay, I have a major phobia of anything going in my eye. In fact, when I go to the eye doctor, I have like a panic attack. It's such a scary place for me. So I cannot imagine wearing contact lenses, but Chad wears them and anytime he buys a new bottle of contact lens solution, he gets a new one of these. And despite my best efforts, I cannot think of too many additional uses for contact lens cases. So what I've advised him to do, and all of you guys who get these new things all the time, is to just ditch your old ones by recycling them and keeping only your most recent contact lens case with you. And if you guys have any great uses for them, let me know in the comments down below, because I am actually quite curious what you do with these things. Chad generously provided me with his 
used old loofah for this particular segment. And it's a great reminder because this thing looks like it has completely fallen apart over time. And frankly, I don't know where that's been. So if you go through your bathroom, you can get rid of any old loofahs, sponges, pumice stones, razor blades, or anything that looks old and dingy and needs a replacement. Look, I don't love throwing things out all the time, but for these consumable items, there is a time and a place to get new ones. So have a look, and if they're not looking so hot anymore, put on your shopping list that you need to get a replacement for them and ditch the old stuff. Free samples and travel sized items. I have a basket of these in my bathroom and over the years I've created this rule. If I don't use it within six months, I get rid of it because otherwise it just builds up and the stuff either expires or just sits there and I tell myself I'm gonna use it, but I never actually do. So with free samples, as soon as you get them, use them or give them away to a friend, a family member, or you can donate them to a shelter. And the same thing goes for sample sized or travel sized items. You know, this toothpaste was used on a recent trip, but then these two are brand new. So I have a couple of options. Either I'm just gonna blow through these when I'm brushing my teeth and take this on my next trip, or the next time I go to the dentist, I'm gonna have yet another tube of toothpaste and then I'm gonna have a whole toothpaste collection and nobody needs that in their bathroom. So spend some time going through your bathroom, looking around and getting rid of anything that's sample sized or travel sized that you're not going to be using within the next six months. And that reminds me, do you guys, when you go to a hotel, do you take little travel sized items with you and bring it back home? Let me know in the comments down below. And now for everyone's favorite bathroom accessory, the toilet bowl brush. Pull it out of its little container and have a look at it. If it looks, well, you guys know what a gross toilet bowl brush looks like. If it looks like that, ditch it and get yourself a new one. Let's talk about towels and washcloths for a minute. Yes, they feel good when you get out of the shower. However, if you have a lot of them, they take up a lot of space. And over time, your towels can stink to high heaven and I don't know if this has happened to you guys but sometimes I'll pick up a towel to use it and I just get this of a bad smell and it is gross. So what I suggest is go through your towels, find the ones that have holes that are shredding, that are flat or that stink and get rid of them. You can cut them up, use them as rags or you can even donate them to a pet shelter. That's what Chad and I have done several times. And to be honest, slimming down our linen closet from all those towels that we don't use freed up a lot of other space for other storage. So give yourself 15 minutes on the clock and challenge yourself to get rid of those 10 items from your bathroom. I promise you it will feel so much more spacious and airy and lighter and brighter in there. And that leads me to this week's comment question. What are your biggest pain points when it comes to bathroom towels? Are they smelly? Do they never dry fast enough? Do they get holes in them? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to take a moment to welcome back a longtime friend of ours, audible.com, who's been a generous supporter of Clean My Space. And they are offering the Clean My Space community a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook download of your choice so you can start listening today. I've been using audible.com for years, not only to entertain myself when I'm cleaning, I just put something on my phone, plug in my earbuds and I get on my way, but I also love listening to audiobooks when I'm driving, cooking, and even doing my makeup when I'm getting ready for videos. In fact, sometimes if it's a really good story, I'll just slow down on the blush or the bronzer and just finish up the chapter. I'm currently listening to Make Your Bed, Little Things That Can Change Your Life and Maybe the World by Admiral William H. McRaven. And you guys might remember this because I referenced the Admiral in the video that we did a long time ago about how to make your bed. If you're looking for ways to change your habits and really get inspired, I highly recommend this book. So make sure that you visit audible.com slash cleanmyspace to claim your free 30-day trial membership and audio download today. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about cleaning, you can visit our website. It is cleanmyspace.com. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.